Welcome to Friday Heritage. Today is December 7th. And you are tuning in to the Patriot Press News. I'm Elias Castro. I'm Jalen Velasquez. And here are this morning's announcements. We are now at the end of our Spirit Week, Patriots. Thank you for having fun all week and showing your school spirit. During fourth period of the day, we will be having our pep rally. Let's give it away to the ASB for this PSA. Hello, I'm Audrey Gonzalez, your ASB president. And today we're going to be talking about pep rally procedures that need to be happening this upcoming Friday. First, I would like to make sure that you guys keep your hands, feet, and personal belongings in your personal bubble at all times. Make sure that you're following the instructions of the people that are telling you where to go. Your ASB cast members will be there to instruct you to go either this way, that way, forward, or back. Make sure if you're a freshman or a sophomore that you do not enter the junior and senior side. Please, everybody down. Oh, Wait, no, this side. Mm -hmm. Please go in and out the first row. Thank you. Please, no saving seats as well. Nope, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Please leave in an orderly fashion, not like this. Run! Please, once the rally is over, leave in an orderly fashion. Thank you guys so much for your cooperation. Please follow all these further instructions for this amazing experience that's gonna happen this Friday. And don't forget that Morp is also this Saturday, 7 to 11. We will have funnel cakes, laser tech, and so much more planned for you guys. Don't forget 90s at nine as well. Throwback to the 90s Morp is this Saturday. Catch you there. Okay, ready? We are going to end our announcements here today, folks. Have a fun and safe weekend at MORP, and we will see you Monday. Hi, I'm Sherry Adama, your college and career counselor. Today's topic, who do you want to be today, not what do you want to be? I'm going to start with a quote from one of my favorite authors, Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who'll decide where you go. I remember, I used to get so tired of people asking me what, to, what I wanted to do when I grew up. It seemed that that was the hot topic of conversation for the adults around me. I remember wanting to tell them what I really wanted to do, but I knew it would lead to their advice and doubt. So I would just answer what they wanted to hear. I want to be a teacher. That would make them happy, and they would leave me alone. So today, I'm not going to ask you to think about what you want to be when you grow up, but rather, who do you want to be? How do you measure success? Each of you is a unique individual, and who you want to be is much more important than what you want to be. How will you be as a friend, a spouse, a partner, an employee, parent and child? How do you want to raise your children? How will you impact your community? How will people feel when you work with them? How will your parents look to you when they need your help? Yes, money is important, and some people measure success by the cars that they drive and the house they live in. But remember, it is just as important that you are proud of what you accomplished, how you serve others, and the happiness you have from your career that you have chosen. Michelle Obama said, success isn't about how much money you make, but it's about the difference you make in people's lives. Have a great day.
And remember that who you want to be is just as important as what you want.